Hey guys, how you going? Dead Man Down Under here. I'm going to show you how to complete the Elite Challenges for the cargo ship robbery in this video. First thing you need to do is head down to the docks. Now there are two ways you can do this next part here, and it depends on whether you own a flying vehicle like the Oppressor Mark II or a helicopter, or if you don't. So I'm going to show you what to do if you don't own a helicopter or an Oppressor Mark II. First you hop into the dinghy and then drive out to the waypoint. As you approach the ship here, come to the front left hand side of it, you'll see the anchor in the water, hop out of your boat, swim over to the anchor and press right on your d-pad, your character will climb up the anchor. Once you're on board we need to sneak to the bridge without being spotted, so keep an eye on the vision cones of all the guards and make sure you are staying out of sight, because if you get detected and you want to complete the elite challenge you are going to need to start all over again. So just take it nice and slow, just walk in behind this guy here, keep heading down this way. This is going to be the longest part of the mission too. Uh, I will show a quicker way to do this if you do own a flying vehicle though, because this does take quite a while. Uh, you've got to take note, some of the guards are going to be up on the upper level too, and they may, may or may not see you. So we're just waiting for this guy here, there he goes. Okay, now head down here, and we're going to duck down this one here to the right. And there's a guy up there on the top, so we're going to wait for him to go over the top of us. And then climb up the ladder here behind him. Come around to the left here, up onto this box. Up onto this container. Up onto this container. And we're just going to hop down here and walk across. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, let's turn the other way. That was good. I didn't spot him then, first off. Okay, so then we're going to walk across this way, waiting for the guard below. There we go. So now come down up over the top here. And across this uh, little bridge overpass, whatever you want to call it here as well. And there's a guy just behind this container here. He's not going to spot us, so it's okay. So let's sneak past. And then we're going to climb down here. There's a guard just there, so we're going to wait for him to turn. Any time today, mate. Still waiting. As I said, this is this is the longest part of this mission. Is waiting. To, to, for the guards to turn to get through here stealth, that's why if you've got a helicopter or an oppressor I'll show you how to, how to do this even quicker in a moment so hop down here and hop down here Oops, there's a pole there, <laughs> I didn't see that uh, then just come through this way keep going through here watching out for the... I don't know the guy's up the top there, he's not going to see us I don't think was he looking through binoculars, was he? Okay. So there's another guy. Just uh, let's just let's go for it. Let's go for it. We're, we're good. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. So come up these stairs. Sneak behind this guy here. He's, he's busy looking out through the binoculars. He was never going to see me, was he? That was uh, a yeah, easier than I thought. Then so up the stairs here. Around this way. And then up these stairs here. Up one more flight, and there is the bridge there to our left, and we have made it here undetected. So now I'm going to show you what to do if you have a flying vehicle like the Presser Mark II or a helicopter. Firstly, hop into the dinghy, wait until it gives you the mission waypoint, like it has there, and then hop out of the dinghy and hop back into your flying vehicle. Well, for me, that's your Presser Mark II. Next we're going to fly really, really high, up high, so we're not being spotted by any of the guards. We're going to wait until we are hovering just above the cargo ship, maybe a little bit further, and then jump off, and open up your parachute. And next we're just going to glide down nice and easy, right to the uh, bridge door of the cargo ship, and this is just going to make it that much quicker and easier to get to the bridge undetected if you do happen to have a flying vehicle. Like I said, this is so much faster and easier. I mean, firstly you're getting to the cargo ship faster, and then secondly you're getting to the bridge faster. So just come in nice and easy here like this, and if you smack the wall there, no worries. 
pop up and when you get to the bridge, you need to press right, um, right on your D-pad, you knock on the door, and then you can just start shooting. There's going to be a guy straight here, take him out. Come in the corner, he's going to be a captain there, take him out, one more guard there. And once you've got him, head over to the captain and press right on your D-pad. Next, head over here to this terminal here. This will take a second, but you will get the prompt from uh, Jamal in a second. Once you do, press right on your D-pad, and you'll do an autom automatic hacking of the uh, terminal here. And once he's finished the hack, you just need to head outside, find the container that the car is in. Now, once you come outside, there is going to be a sea star, so I like to take him out using the rail gun. Um, if you don't have the rail gun, any other weapon that can take out a helicopter is fine. Uh, and you, you've got to be really careful now with the NPCs here. They know you're here, you can't die. That is another one of the um, elite challenges that you need to complete, is completing this mission without dying, so keep an eye on your, on your armour and your snacks, and use them as you need it. Just want to shoot your way through. One, guy, one more guy here, and come through one more, one more level here. There's going to be another guy around the corner here at the top. There is he. There he is. So take him out. Climb up the ladder here. What are you doing, mate? Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now come over to the crate here. Climb up onto the crate. Up onto the container. Up onto the container here. And there's going to be three containers you need to check. It is going to be random which one it's in. Um, using your bolt cutters. So press right on your D-pad. And there's a guy behind me shooting at me, so this is fantastic. Open up, and we got Lucky that's in the first crate this time. So the uh, skylift that you would have sourced during your um, setup missions, uh, that is going to be automatically piloted by an NPC. He's going to come and collect that for you. What you need to do... Oh, I forgot, sorry, take that guy out. Uh, you need to plant a flare on here first. So walking over to the side, press right on your D-pad, plant the flare, and now the guy in the uh, sky will come and collect it for you. So what you need to do is come over to this side, come up this ladder here, and come across, not go back down the ladder, come back up, and come across here up onto this crate, up onto this container, around onto this container here, and we're going to steal this sea sparrow here, this has uh, lock on missiles. We're going to have a wave of helicopters come flying in here. And we need to protect the sky lift. Uh, the third and final condition of completing the elite challenges here is to make sure that the sky lift has above 80% of its health still. So there's going to be a wave of three buzzards coming in, and there are three waves. Of the buzz, so nine buzzards in total. And the rockets on this thing absolutely suck. The lock on is terrible. It's sort of just as bad as the Impressor Mark II's rockets, really. I got lucky there in taking um, all three out first go. So that's the first wave. There'll be another wave coming in a second. Another three buzzards. Just keeping an eye on the, on the map. They're going to come in in front of us here. Here they are. So you can take them out as quick as you can. To try and save the health of the sparrow. No, the, look, not the sparrow. The sky lift. Sorry, we're in the sparrow. And that's the second wave done. We're going to have one more come in now. And I got rather lucky that the rockets have locked on and hit their targets first go every go so far. Just as I jinx myself, and we have, <laughs> have a missile miss. Okay, no worries. We'll come after this one here. There we go. And one more. Where is he? He's underneath me. There he is. And it's going to miss. It's going to miss again. Jesus, you don't want this to happen too often. And there we go, that's got him. Next we need to fly to one of the car parks where the Skylift is going to land and drop the container off for us. That is going to be this car park here, so just land and hop out of your helicopter and wait for the uh, container to be dropped. Here it comes once it's dropped down. Just give it a second. Any time now, mate. There we go. Once it's dropped down, press right on your D-pad, and the car will come out. And hop in the car and drive it back to the salvage yard. And once you come back here to the salvage yard, that will be the mission completed. And as we come inside here, robbery complete. There we go. And you can see no lives lost. 
reach the bridge undetected and over 80% skylift health remaining so that is the three tasks done and that is how you complete the cargo ship robbery ball and completing right all of the uh, elite bonuses Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you want to see more GTA content like this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.